Well, Israel has maintained that it is doing its best to minimise civilian casualties and that Hamas is using civilians as human shields. Israel also says that Hamas's rockets are illegally targeting residential areas. So, are any crimes being committed here? Well, William Shabus is Professor of International Law at Middlesex University in London and at Leiden University in the Netherlands. First of all, on the Israeli airstrikes, are they justified as self-defence, protecting Israelis? Well, self-defence will always be a justification, but it's only to the extent that it's proportionate to the threat that's being posed. So it works in much the same way as self-defence works in ordinary life. You can react to a threat or to an attack on you, but only to the minimum extent necessary to respond to it and in a way that is proportionate to the damage that you're sustaining. And how is proportionality established? Well, proportionality is proportionality. It's a word that has to be assessed. Today, we assess it by judges. We have war crimes tribunals. We have the International Criminal Court. And when they can exercise jurisdiction, judges will look at that and assess the proportionality. I think one of the ways, and clearly this is on everybody's mind, is that there are huge numbers of civilian casualties on one side and virtually no civilian casualties on the other. And so prima facie, there is evidence of disproportionality in the response that Israel is undertaking in order to protect itself. 